Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, I've been like s just stuck in mediocrity pretty much my whole life. But no, in, in Super Auto Pets terms specifically, which I'm sure is what you're mostly concerned about. Um, let me be a metal jacket. I'll leave you to discuss the level of its fullness, okay? Maybe it's a half full metal jacket. Maybe it's uh, twice removed. I don't really know how it works. Cricket does not trade well with duck. That's unfortunate for us, but whatever. Banana on pizza, what a name. And uh, can I tell you something? I give it a try. I do... Um, Worry is not the right word. I think we got it. Because <laughs> literally what I was going to say is I think maybe my over-reliance on uh, exclusively... Watch this. My over-reliance on exclusively running... Um... That's the play. Uh... Frilled Dragon and Faint Triggers early is probably costing me more than it's helping me. But then, wouldn't you know it, right as I was about to, to say it, what did we get in the shop? Why, if it isn't my old friend, Frilled Dragon plus a couple of Faint Triggers. And our four squad just ended up picking up a pretty comfortable victory. And I think this is A-OK. -okay. And I think this is A-OK. -okay. And I would love a level, but you know what? If we can't get one early... We can't get one early. Okay. So we're gonna... Th this is actually okay. Laugh all you want. The spider is not great. But it can do good things. It can spit out a turtle. It can spit out a... I, I think it can spit out a sheep. It can annoy the opposition. It can, it can win you a game due to RNG. Especially as it levels, okay? Now, the, the only reason I'm freezing it is because we got two already. If we didn't have two already, it, w it wouldn't be a part of my world right now. However, we did get two already. So we're going to take the level next time. Our HP is looking mighty strong. Can I tell you, though, the, the, the worst part of where we're at right now is that our frilled dragon is not looking mighty strong at all. I'll take that trade, I think, right there. Good ant luck. I, I can't be upset. Um, we could still draw. I said it, I didn't think it was going to happen, but I said it. Uh, but give me my level. The worst part of this run is that we have nothing going with our Frilled Dragon. But that is an insanely early, awesome uh, dragonfly that I honestly think we can get going on our, our Spider and our Frilled Dragon basically just to go. And I still like where we got our ant. I don't want the ant to get the buff. Frilled drag. Well, I guess you... No, because I want... How many faint triggers we got? One, two, three. So you're going to be a six, seven. Yeah, I still want the 50-50 of, of the dragonfly or the frilled dragon getting the bonus. Now, I think this dragonfly is sticking around. This is an interesting one. L literally, with God as my witness, that was the reason I did the level up is because I, I thought to myself, what if we get another dragonfly? But now we're buffing the ant instead of the spider. That's okay. I still will pill this ant in a heartbeat. We probably lose this one. But losing a run after like a, a pivot, not uncommon. Sometimes you get, not every run can be a flawless, okay? Now that's inspiring because we lost to a level one frilled dragon, which is what we ourselves are using right now. So something's gotta go, it's gotta be you. The Frilled Dragon, I'm realizing, has no reason to level because we're not going to invest much in faint triggers. You're probably gone soon. You're going to get the buffs. It's, I'm telling you, it's not the play, man. And I, you know what is the play? Giving you a little bit of garlic because you're going to get a nice stat bonus. I did roll... You know, you got to die. Um, right, we, we're trying to get the spider to level 3 mostly so that we can fit in another buff on a level 2. But I'm actually, I'm not immediately thrilled with our squad. What I am thrilled with, this is okay, man. What I'm thrilled with is the fact that we have good scaling for the future. We're going to outscale most of the teams we go up against. As long as we don't bleed too much life, maybe it's okay. And you know what? We're not going to pill you. We're going to try to get you to level three. And then we'll be getting more buffs. It might not happen straight away. That's okay. That's life. 
Right now, I don't know. I'm buffing the spider because the spider's getting buffed. I'm bored in the house and I'm in the house bored. Remember that? By the way, I've been keeping an eye on TikTok trends recently because you can't escape them. Recently found out about pink sauce. You guys hear about that? Influencers started selling pink sauce on TikTok. They said it was the best tasting thing of all time. Um, shipped it across the world in unrefrigerated bags when it has dairy in it. It was not pink sauce, I think, when it arrived at the homes. Am I understanding the pink sauce correctly, by the way? Is this the way that it went down or am I mistaken? I don't see why you wouldn't try a lion here and have it soak up the frilled dragon buffs. The, the buffs that the frilled dragon... Pre but really, you're going to give up 1-1 one, one on 1-2-3 one, units to get a... Well, no, you're going to give up a... Yeah, no, you're going to give up a 1-1 one, one buff on 1-2-3 units to try to get a lion out there? Or should you just focus on continuing your buffs in this? I think, I think you just continue your wide scaling. I would love if we immediately got some... Chocolate, I guess, is not going to happen. But if we immediately got a dragonfly, I think I'd be into it. Otherwise, I'm saying goodbye to you for now. This one hurts. Why, why don't you give me a, a fortune cookie? It's just a weird food item to buy. But I, I really like our wide scaling right now. I think we're also looking for like either a poodle or a T-Rex. At your leisure. Huge. Didn't need the, the double damage at all, by the way. But still huge. That hurts. This this is pain. You're gonna you're gonna just get us, aren't you? That's gonna be well. You know, it was more than a just get. That was you beat us by a melon. That's pretty solid. And we are on lethal, but I I've said it a few times. I think we're scaling enough. We actually prefer you not to level, probably, but we I think we like you having one of those. Chocolate, you get chocolate on a dragonfly, and then you move the spider back just a little bit. It gives you room for a T-Rex. Probably will get a level, mm, I'd say like a level three T-Rex right after this. Probably pretty likely, right? I could see it happening. If we just get the exact perfect units at all times, like we're in the clear, man. Thank you to the green pepper. Please get me out of mediocrity, okay? Scale me. I don't want it. All right. I guess we'll take one of these. You want to go you want to go insane sicko mode? What about two level 2 dragonflies? I don't think we're scaling as fast as one could scale. But I do think there's there's an outside shot on this one. That we could go to 10. Not a great chance because we're on lethal already. It would be nice to have like a lot more. Um... No, don't be a level 2. There's no chance. You just got beat by a honey badger. Everyone's going to use that as evidence. That. Um... Oh, God. Everyone's going to use that as evidence that the dragonfly is not that good. I, I must tell you. But a rolling trucker. That makes sense. Rolling start. Uh, Daytona USA. One of the all-time great theme songs, of course. Many people have said it. The, round one, I don't care. We just want faint triggers as soon as possible. Thank you for the faint trigger. Not interested. Very interested. And then if I could sell you and get a faint trigger. That's actually... Possibly even better. So thank you so much. Now this time with no ants, you guys go to the front. And now I'm looking at an early reasonable chance of a level 3 frilled dragon, which probably just jinxed it. But I know all those times we ran frilled dragon, it all fell apart and it never works. But what if this time is different? It's a, it's a telltale recipe for getting the five wins over and over. That's something I've learned. Love it. I think it's it's really hard for me to not take two pandas here, even though they're not faint triggers themselves. I think that they have the capabilities to, to do some amazing work over time. And with all this constant early to mid game, uh, shifting my, you're not gonna kill me, shifting my faint triggers around. Oh, you're gonna beat the crap out of me though, holy cow. 
Preston the Casino American? What a name. I just, I, I feel like getting stats that are pretty much guaranteed is always really good. And I feel like this is a great double sell. And then let's, let's set this up at the front with a little sheep and a little stork. And then honestly, at this point, why not buff the panda? The panda's always going to give the stats away. We might as well have it going with a, a croissant right now. It's not like a croissant helps you in battle. And I feel like, we're, pun unintended yet again, we're right back on the horse. Now, some frilled dragons. We, we set up what we wanted to see. Garlic's going to do a lot of good work for us. Not interested. Uninterested. Even I, I don't think it's a croissant-worthy situation. I think that that's fine if necessary. But I do also think... That if, if you'll allow me to be so bold, and entitled is a word that many people would use in this situation to describe my opinion, I'm sure. Um, my ask, if you will. We're owed two frilled dragons. It's a tier one. We've been rolling a lot in the low tiers. This is when you get frilled dragons. So if you could just relax yourself and give me what I'm owed, that would be fantastic. We get an early level three. We, we, I, I would accept a panda instead. Or in addition to, okay. So you're going to be like really strong. Start of turn, gain what start of battle. I just, because you're going to go first. You're going to go before the caterpillar. Yeah. Okay. I think that we're going to get a strong enough frilled dragon, and the order of events is going to work out such that we're actually going to. Be happy with a caterpillar. Oh my god. You you being a level 2 is so devastating to me. If that was a level 1 sheep, we win that. But you know what? To, to the victor go the spoils. I'm just thankful we're not on lethal. Because we got a little more ways to go before we pop. Let's get you out here. I Apparently we're not going to get um, what we wanted, which was a level 3, even though I said there was a high percentage chance. I told you I maybe jinxed us, and would you look at that, I consider myself jinxed now. So, the way that this should work, when the Caterpillar hits level 3, if we're still alive by then, which seems unfortunately unlikely, um, I believe that because the Panda will by necessity have a higher attack due to it already having a higher attack and also having a Croissant, Thus, maintaining the pace with the Caterpillar gaining 1 XP per turn. Um, I believe that the Panda will always go before our Caterpillar, which will then turn into a 1-1, inherit the stats from whatever we give the stats to from the Panda. Makes sense to me. Now, let's be honest. You're just a much better unit um, for us. <laughs> a, a much better unit by far. Um, I don't want to give you a cucumber. I'll tell you what, because you're just so much better with garlic. If, uh, literally, that's it right there. And I'll, I'll just take my... Although there's a... Okay, uh, hear, hear me out. Sell me. Gain experience on the caterpillar twice as quickly, because we can combine them. You move back a little bit, because we have no faint triggers anymore. So there's really... You're just a 5-6. But you're going to be... Well, you're more than a 5-6, but... Because you're getting the buff from the panda. But now, we got a, a bison out here. It's scaling itself every turn. It has garlic. It's a great inheritor of what we got going on. And it's the rare... Oh my god. Oh my god, I hate you. <laughs> I'm very upset with this kangaroo situation. Never mind, I'm totally fine. I feel fantastic. I, it's the rare pivot from Frilled Dragon that actually appears to make sense. And I would also tell you, I think there's no reason we can't get rid of you for a more valuable unit. Something that snipes, for example. I would just, I would pump at least one of those. We do have chocolate. We, we actually, though it looks like we could buy one here, we just don't need it. Because we're going to get there next turn anyway. In fact, even if we just combined you right now and put another unit out there, we would get there next turn anyway. So let's do that. Yeah. Let's add, let's add a sniper. We don't need the other caterpillar. We don't need the caterpillar to pop this turn because that would leave us four squatted anyway. Although that would also probably be fine now that I've realized it would be four squad with uh, two of our strongest units. Okay, their team is better than ours. You, sometimes you just got to take the L. 
Just a much better team, quite frankly. I don't know what you did to do it, but congrats, you're, you're a better player. We've had good shops. I can't act like the shop screwed us. Now, you're not death touching me right away. So I'm like, I don't need to give you a green pepper. You're going to get enough stats. Actually, we should give the stats to you now that I think about it, because you give them 150%. And then roll me. Don't really want a Zushi. I want you to go. And I think that adding, like, a dolphin is actually okay. Maybe it stands a chance to kill some sharks. I think the lynx is also doing good work, though. So, like, let's, let's not throw it all away to get two dolphins out there. Dude, I don't know how many times I can just win five or six, you know? Like, at some point, we gotta have a seven. Please? Okay, there's some big snipes out in Amish here, but I feel like we did fantastically. I feel like that really couldn't have gone better for us. Right now, you're giving... We're not quite maxed. You know what? I, I would sell our dolphin. I know how this looks. It, it looks horrible. Sell a dolphin. Buy a cow. Feed you so that you're getting you closer to max. By the way, once you scale yourself, hopefully, we can start to um, work you into a different position. Maybe have you buff something else. If, if we live long enough for that to happen, which obviously is not that likely given the circumstances. But that doesn't mean, like, it just means it's a long way away. I think you definitely take a T-Rex. It's maybe overkill in the sense that, like, your buff is worthless. Your buff probably isn't worth that much. Your buff is soon to overmax this guy, but your buff is is justifiable. Were there two links in there? Did I did I make a mistake and and accidentally roll past one links in that could allow us to take out two green peppers and and thus alter the course of the game? Is it gonna matter now that I look at this squad that has scaling? Uh, well, it it has death touch that is not gonna do anything, so that's positive. Hold on. Hold on. There's something here. That took us to seven. I'm feeling slightly better about myself. I'm buffing you. I'm not receiving chocolate, but I am receiving a T-Rex. Okay. Basically, I mean, as, as soon as you get the T-Rex, you can only make like three decisions per turn. So the game starts to move pretty fast. This team also looks pretty strong. I feel like I got shot by that leopard, but it wasn't really that bad. How's your rooster? It's actually, like, pretty good, but I think we still win. It, it was pretty good because it was level 2, but his stats were not that impressive. So there we go. Now we got the 8, and the turns move quick. We don't see any chocolate. I would rather have melon than garlic at this point. I think. We can't really make another decision. <laughs> um, is there a benefit to flipping you around? Like, right now, you're taking us... You're going to take us to 45 plus attack, which is not even workable. Yeah, actually, I think the flip around makes some sense here. I think that'll take us to super max. It's actually, we were probably over super max to begin with. Maybe there was no relevancy to that whatsoever. Please shoot the shark. Just shoot the shark. Oh, okay. Breaking a green pepper is like always good. We could draw this. Yeah, we could draw this. If it shot the shark, I don't know, because we'd have to attack a worm twice. I don't know. We'd have to think about it. This is the gimme. And a pair. At this point, you're already maxing. We might as well do something. Out of all of these, the thing that's probably the best is giving your lynx the chance to crit. Because you can't put it on the caterpillar because it loses the equipment as soon as it levels. I think I'd rather have a 50% chance to do 16 extra damage than just get a 2-2 buff. I did not get sniped. That's a miracle. I did some sniping. Also feels somewhat miraculous. Please, please make me look like a genius. It, it tried. We still won. That's nine? Considering we're on lethal or win and draws are pretty rare in the late game, I'd rather take the guaranteed level than try to work towards my level three T-Rex, you know? I, like, I'd love to have it happen, but I think you need to invest in stuff that moves the needle as much as possible immediately, I think. 
probably also could rearrange our buffalo at this point or our bison sorry but keep in mind i'm also looking at my bison and i'm like dude my bison hold on hold on i'm not pogging not pogging not pogs not pogs nine as usual when we're on a good run at least we, we maybe could have rearranged some stats there but to, just to be honest with you i think they just outscaled us and that's okay to get to nine in the in the current ecosystem of super auto pets getting the nine feels great to me how many how about a how about a how about a metal pronk i don't know what a pronk is did i just describe a fork in doctor who this feels like a loss. <laughs> Why? Just because you have uh, less units after the first attack and the units you have have less stats? Yeah, that, that's what tipped me off mostly. Okay, Frill Dragon. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. So now I'm feeling very confident. I would stake my, my life savings on this team not losing this round. I think it could draw... I don't think it can lose. I, I think it's a mathematical unlikely. Like, maybe not impossibility, but it, there's an infinitesimal chance. Four faint triggers and any frilled dragon in the proper order, it just wins you the, the round, I think. Love it. You know what? That's a faint trigger. I would honestly, I, I would not be afraid to play psycho mode. You want to play some psycho ball with me? Why would you do it in this order? It's a great question. Hold on, I'm gonna get one of you going soon. I think you I think you get rid of you. I think you're gone for no upside. And then you come out here, and then you now have to go to the back, obviously. Still keep that croissant. Okay, this is the team designed to annoy other teams. If they if they're going wide, then you got big problems. And I can I tell you I see some big problems in your future. I love this for me. I definitely think this is now a situation where one living frilled dragon probably beats like, you know, two frilled dragons that are super dead. I would honestly, with, with God as my witness, I would take this round off. I would give you one of those and I would give a, a hedgehog one of these just to be a little bit more useful as long as it doesn't get sniped by a woodpecker. I don't want to buy something unless it has either a future or a faint trigger. And I would say none of our units, like, they, they don't meet those conditions right now. We also want to have honey on our badger for sure. But this team falls apart fast. We got to <laughs> take some serious uh, diligence to, to stay uh, standing on this one. Also, ideally, I'd like our sheep not to die. So you know what? I think we got a, a miracle situation. I would rather have our cricket get killed by the badger maybe than the sheep in the event that they have two hedgehogs, I guess. I don't know if this will work right. Holy cow. 12-3 rooster. What is this? Like turn zero? <laughs> and yet, look at the power of the sheep. It's actually... It's it's stunning to me how efficient the sheep has been this weekly. And maybe it's always been like that. And it just takes, you know... Just takes a weekly like this for me to notice. But... Probably won't level our cricket. Probably won't invest in it with via croissant either. You could sell, get a stork out there, but I think, well, uh, look, here's the thing. I like it, even though it's guaranteed to die. No, get out of here. Give me two of these. This is not very good right now. We, we spent a lot of money on, like, useless miscellanea. Um, but it's all, the, the whole thing comes down to the frilled dragon and the sheep anyway. As long as that middle sheep's living, I know we're even spawning one badly here, like... Or no, maybe not because one of our units had to die to fit it anyway. Okay, fair enough. This is a loss. Garlic is just insane. Like, it's, it's um, especially versus sheep, it does really well, but it's going to crush our, like, attack right there as well. That's fine. Garlic's just really good. One of these. It's, like, you know what? <laughs> I think this is the kind of run where this can actually maybe go. You want to try it? Like, we we try hedgehog builds all the time. Let's see if maybe a chicken squad can get going. You got to sell the hedgehog. Like, we still need to keep some faint triggers. We could buy a tier one, sell a tier one, probably buff your rooster. All of a sudden, you get another frilled dragon out there. It's not that bad. We don't have to worry about our hedgehog anymore. So we basically, we got 
We want tier ones, and drawing is not that bad, but losing is horrible. Okay, I gotta admit, a team having, like, two oxes... It's the sort of thing that'll keep you up at night a little bit. It's the sort of thing that it makes you want to go, Who hurt you? Call me out, NL. What a name. It's perfect. I I've been soul read. It's just, I mean, it's just an insult. But here, we're going to can because it's almost the same as a... Hold on. As a, a, a chicken buy. This team is actually like... The, I don't know about the team, I guess I should say. But the units that are in the shop are kind of sick now. Like, we might even want to just buy... We should have frozen the sheep. Hold on. We don't have any garlic. Can we beat this level 2 hedgehog? Can we even draw this level 2 hedgehog? Am I even supposed to be here today? We're gonna... I, it's all, it all comes down to order. Thank you for not doing the hedgehog thing after my bee spawn, but before yours did. Thank you so much. Okay. I think I just sell you. I definitely think I buy you. I don't know who I buff, honestly. I guess you're not going anywhere. So why don't, at, at this point, you're stuck with us, we're stuck with you. Why don't we try it? Every round, our units are getting stronger. But I'm not, like, replacing any of them. <laughs> I'm only constantly moving position one around. We probably should... Whenever that happens, we should probably just pivot the team faster, right? Like, is that the, is that the dream that I'm missing out on? We're actually possibly going to be fine. Like, should we just dump all of our units, and except the chicken and the frilled dragon, and then, like, buy new units that have better stats? That, I mean, that seems very sensible. I also think a shark, well, I don't know, it is a 13-12, but we, don't, we haven't really built in the shark-wise way. I have no idea what to level, either. Like, we have chocolate. You could level the chicken, but like... <laughs> I don't know, okay? I think you do this. I think we sell you. I think we buy you. I think we sell you. I think we buy you. I don't know what to buff now, because the cow is our strongest unit. I think we sell you. And then all of a sudden, we, we roll this shark at the back, and then we buff the shark? I don't know. The units are too strong. I've never seen them this strong. I don't know what's good here. Two hawks? I mean, they do seem... They seem pretty strong. We could have gotten level 3 frilled dragon. That's obvious. But instead, we got like a 16, 17 shark out there. And if the 16, 17 shark like does not die, it seems very good for us. Like, if it makes it to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this kangaroo, I think I'm feeling semi-solid. Like, that broke your green pepper. We'll, we'll draw this one. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. That, <laughs> look, a little bit of miracles on both sides there. Look, buddy, I'm just going to... I don't know. You get a level 3 hawk out here. Level 2 hawk, what does it even do? It does, like, 14 damage to... Opposite side. Do you just get a freaking huge T-Rex out here? I, I think you gotta go chicken and just say, you know what? I respect you for what you've done, chicken. And then you, you gotta dump the badger. Like, that's a given. You can't take the lion here. I really do wish you could. But now, just r remind yourself, you basically take anything. Like, you sell... I don't know. I, 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 do you sell the duckling? It's a 13-13. Or do you sell your sheep and eat anything and still you get a 1721 but you also get the uh, this is technically two extra triggers and this is like one extra trigger but it's a 1721 I, you have to it, it's just i mean it it looks like it's uh, or maybe you just take the cricket instead and you're like well now you're still summoning two things yeah like this it it makes sense and it's a tier one. That would, there was a marmoset in there. We could have gone with that. So I don't, I'm not naive enough to think that this squad's really going the distance right now. What I will say is that like, it's made it to the point where I'm like, okay, I can understand why people would play a chicken build. 
There's, there's, suppose there's some, a certain amount of drollness associated with this. This is a very annoying team. I'm very okay with this draw, because I think our team just gets funnier every round. Definitely, it seems to me like a level 2 shark is the play. But it also seems to me like the best thing you could probably do is start with the chicken plays. We might as well, like, sell you. I'm not worried about the HP on you because just buying this gives us a bunch of HP. Like, sell you. Now I'm like, dude, this freaking gorilla is huge as well. Maybe you just run two sharks for a second. Sell you. Add a gorilla onto the squad. Look for a green pepper in the future. I mean, th this is a, and this seems fun too, don't get me wrong. This is a mighty impressive uh, shop we got here. And now our level three frilled dragon could also get sold at no great expense to ourselves, I think. Please, please, please. That's huge, it's huge. I don't really think we should be running two sharks, although the fact that they're starting close to 50-50 seems fine. But I think we should be... Combining, aiming for level two. Sure, I mean, there's... I, that actually seems like a great buy. It seems better than you. In fact, like, you don't give us any value now, except your gold. So thanks so much for that. And then I think I will buy you, even though you might scale more in the future. And then we're going to get rid of you. We're going to feed somebody some food. I guess it's going to be you. We can do better. <laughs> you would not live. It would be funny, though. I don't think it's any of you either. If I had to pick one of you to take, it would be you. No, I would just run a cow temporarily. How about I will have a cow, man? And let's... I mean, it, I'm now realizing, by the way, that the true dream for us is actually to buff a chicken. By the way, why do I have a hammerhead shark now that I sold my level 3? But either... It's, you know why I have it? Because it's a 2627. That's why. There's a situation where I definitely look at this and I say to myself, Self, this is a, a team you normally don't like facing too much, but don't cry about it because you got a very strong shark. They also have a very strong shark. But I got a lot of units that come in advance of the shark here. Oh my god, it's still gonna draw. That's painful. But you know what? I it, it just keeps getting funnier every turn. You are becoming very uh, interesting, without a doubt. I think it doesn't really matter, but we know we're going to start here. You're doing 17 damage to a unit. You're 25-25 that also gives a melon armor, which is kind of sick. Why am I rolling past you? Because I don't know what's good and what's bad in this situation. <laughs> I'll say like a 33-30 that gives death touch, that seems like really good. Maybe behind the gorilla so it doesn't screw up coconut armor. At some point you could also sell a chicken, I'm sure. I don't really want to do that because it's been fun. What I do like is, I mean, how about 18 damage to a unit right out the gate? I don't really think we need a level three shark to be honest. I think that you, at this point, this guy's he's almost getting maxed to begin with. Oh, man, if that had just... If that had just gone the distance, dude. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, did we get over a hump here? Definitely you with the green pepper is goaded. I mean, at this point, I know we're going to probably want to, like, replace some of these units. But it also feels like... Just putting a green pepper on some strong lads makes a good deal of sense. <laughs> and now we can get a level 2 walrus and guarantee two units at the back get death touch. I'm not sure how much we like that, to be honest with you. Are, you killed our chicken? I'm just going to say it. And this is with no rudeness. That's got to hurt. When you kill the chicken... Out of all the units they could have shot, we get the eight wins. 
Like, is this, is this where it ends for us? Are we not swapping any other units out? It feels like that's not the right play. But, you know, here we are. This definitely seems pretty good. Anybody need, like, you know what? Why don't you take a melon armor at this point? And then, I, if we're going to do it this way, we should sell the chicken, like, if we get to nine. Or if we're never going to get, like, another... You killed my chicken again. That's I, I, insane luck for me, I feel. Hold on. I'm like, I, I think we we must draw, right? No, because we killed him through the death touch. Oh. Okay, on nine, you got to sell the chicken. But, but I want the chicken to know, I know what you've done for me, and I respect it, okay? So thank you so much for your help. We're just looking for a big stat unit that does something. It, we don't need the walrus, we've already got it. The hawk is probably close, but I think we could maybe do a little better. Uh, honestly, like a 3128 rooster that summons a 16 or 15 attack chick. It, basically, why do I like it? I like it because it punches through a piece of equipment and then also does some damage afterwards. And then I'm, okay, so like a cow would be nice, but I think with a green pepper, you also soak up like maybe an extra attack. But now I'm like, oh, we're, yeah, okay, so this is a little dumb. We now have a level two walrus that is not necessary here. But I, I, that's how much I value a green pepper, okay? That's how much I value it. In fact, I value it so much. Check that out. <laughs> That was just to, that was just to be silly. I'll, I'll I'll own that. I feel like I'm not super worried about their turkey living. I'm super worried about a level three rooster. But we're punching through death touch. Holy cow! We got to ten wins with the chicken build. Okay, I'm willing to accept that for all the negativity I've said about the chicken, in some unique situations, if you have a lot of life and you get chickens and chocolates early, you can make it work. For now, thanks for watching. That's as far as I'm willing to go. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future, and I'll see you next time. See ya!